Hey guys and welcome back to another Wild Rift video. As you can see on screen, these are data mined files from the decrypted Wild Rift APK. Just in case you missed it, I already made two videos on my channel um, showcasing as many of the champions that I was able to extract which Riot is most likely working on. Now just to prove these are legit files, if I search up Zaya, spoiler alert, one of the champions we will be talking about today, you will find assets with the name Zaya in it. Now how I confirm that it's a champion that they're at least attempting is by making sure I find the ability icons that link them to the actual champion name. So Zaya has her ability icons here as well as some unfinished ability icons which are <laughs> showcased um, which are showcased through uh, a summoner ability, no idea why, but instead of showing you boring text, I'm gonna be using my PC League client to give you some visuals. Now since I found Zaya, it's only fair that I will find her lover, Rakan, so I assume since both of these were data mined, at least I was able to find files for both of them. They are at least being attempted to be implemented in the game. They are being worked on. I have a strong feeling it will be a successful port. I don't think Riot's gonna have too much trouble and they are an iconic duo for League of Legends. So I assume they really want them in Wild Rift. Uh, Zaya herself will probably not be tweaked too much other than some minor things since base um, her base character is an ADC and we've seen time and time again um, Wild Rift has simply not had trouble implementing ADCs. Basically, the character identity is just one-to-one. -one. Moving from there, we have... Okay, now this... Oh, this is a fan favorite. I don't even like the support role, but I love Thresh. Thresh, I was able to data mine, which got me so hyped, because I don't like playing support, but if I have to, I'm playing Thresh. And I think he's gonna work perfectly. He has no point and clicks. It is literally all directional, so I assume his lantern will be a skill shot, his Q will be a skill shot, his E will just be a click. It's it's simple. His R just happens to go around him. He is a one-to-one -one port, and man, that hypes me up. Moving from there, we have another ADC, Tristana. I'm going to keep this one brief. Tristana is definitely simple enough to implement. Um, her R will most likely just be directional and her jump will be directional. I, I think it's gonna be simple enough to, to port her, not too much to talk about. So if you are a Tristana fan, you can rejoice and be super happy. Moving on from her though, we've got yet another ADC. It, it seems like Riot really loves their ADCs in Wild Rift. They're simple enough to port, so I can kind of see why. Um, Twitch. Twitch is a rat ADC who goes invisible, love him or hate him, personally I hate him, if you do enjoy playing him, you can be hyped because I did find files for Twitch and I have a strong feeling he will make it into the game for either the open beta or release, that's, that's just my opinion. And uh, if you did not get enough ADCs, our next champion <laughs> is another ADC, we have Varus. Now, um, Varus is literally all skill shots, so again, I think it's going to be a very easy port for Riot to make. Varus should be very close to a one-to-one -one champion, so that's going to be super exciting. Onwards with another champion, luckily not an ADC, actually a mid laner. We have Velkaz, which I am not surprised at all. Like. He will be a beauty to play on the dual stick control. All skill shots, all directional, nothing super fancy. Velkaz will be a ton of fun to play on the mobile platform. Onwards from there, we have a, another controversial champion, love him or hate him, Vladimir. Vladimir was someone else I was able to data mine. Um, I'm not too sure if he'll be difficult to implement. I have a feeling maybe not. I mean, if they, I know I'm under the impression if Riot was able to implement people like Lulu, which I mentioned in the previous video that they're working on, as well as Orianna, Zed, these are way more complex champions that they were able to pull off. So Vladimir should be easy peasy, let me be honest. And um, yeah, with that, we mentioned eight champions. For a total of 27 champions over my three videos, those are everyone that I was able to find in the data mine. If you have not watched the previous videos, make sure to go check them out. I mentioned a ton more champions. Hopefully some of your mains made the list, but yeah, 27 champions Riot is working on. Um, 27 would be, would be the total between all three videos. So yeah, that's super, super hype. Let's just 
all hope together that an open beta comes by soon because I'm a little bit sick of waiting. I want to get my hands on the mobile version of this game and give it a go, but yeah. Anyways, enough jibber jabber. If you enjoyed the video, consider hitting that like button, maybe even subscribing if you haven't already. Of course, leave a comment on how I can improve these videos, and I promise I will. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.